Hi, now for a little bit of a deep dive on step eight of the journey called tracking reports for the profit plays that are focused on the causes of the uh, extreme profitability and unprofitability we find in ranking reports. Um, th in this slide, I'm just going to give you an overview uh, because in the line item profit analytics part two, where we kind of take a deep dive into much more of this stuff, uh, we'll look at actual screenshots and so forth of these plays. But a key, a key play right off of a track report right off that is what we call five by five, where at the rep level, so if I'm a, a rep, uh, I would get this report as often as I wanted. Certainly I'd be looking at it on a monthly basis, maybe even weekly, but a monthly basis to look at my five most profitable customers in my territory, my five most unprofitable customers, my five target gazelles, and then two other dimensions, five accounts that have gone grown up the most in the last, and this can be tuned, it can be the last quarter over quarter, last six months over six months, but it's, it's accounts that are trending up the, the most uh, are the fastest and accounts that are trending down the fastest. And because if, if, if we see uh, sharp divergence, you know, somebody's growing faster than normal, we want to know that there's a reason and a good reason for it, as opposed to everybody else has put that guy in credit hold and we're the last guys he's loading up from. And if an account starts to fall out of bed, we want to run out there a month after the, you know, the, the, the change as opposed to a year and a half later saying, hey, didn't used to buy a lot of stuff from us. Um, so this helps to focus the, the sales reps on the, the high leverage opportunities within their territory. Now, we can ideally then uh, have sort of an all-star five by five report for the brand. So if you had two, three, four, five salespeople, uh, you might have arguably, you know, one best core account from each territory of the five, you know, most profitable accounts. And then at the corporate level, you can have a, a super all-star uh, type of, of, of report. And I might add that, you know, uh, in a pre previous life, I was running a, a distribution chain where we probably had a magnitude of about, uh, Oh, five to eight thousand active accounts, and when I looked at the 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 rough net profit uh, action, I was getting off two notably. And this is sort of in the late seventies. One was called Caterpillar Tractor, and the other one was called a Fed a Federal Express. It kind of made me wonder why we were even bothering with the other five thousand. So, when you when you really hook into a true gazelle, uh, the upside is enormous. Uh, another report you'd want to look at is uh, smart pricing reports, where the analytics can take every line item, figure out the margin percent in the line item, and then do plots of uh, showing volume versus margin percent and each dot representing a customer and then having a mean curve, average curve line drawn through that to see just frankly, how random the pricing is and how undisciplined it is, and that if all the points below average were just moved up the average line, how much incremental margin dollar that would be. And you can then rank the the item, the single individual item that's got the most upside uh, price tuning, same with territories uh, and branches and so forth. So you'd want to have those kind of tracking reports. Uh, when you look at peak profits for customers, so let's say you have 20% of your customers generate 150% of your operating profit. Well, why can't we retain all of that? As opposed to write, you know, at if it's 150, we're only retaining uh, uh, two thirds. And ideally we'd want to, in a sense, have all customers profitable and retain 100% of the peak profits. Some very powerful tracking reports are what I call year over year Delta PBIT reports. Uh, you can do them uh, for any lens you want to look through. But for example, when you look at customers uh, for a profit center, uh, if I took the final numbers for last year and looked at it the year before uh, th and, and subtracted or contrasted the two, whatever customer had the most improvement in operating profit, net profit would be at the top. So you see somebody at the top that's up $35,000. Now, they could have gone from a loss of 50000 to a loss of uh, uh, 15000 So the delta would be 35000 to the good. So, you know, improvement's improvement. And, uh, but when we look at the top 10, 15 most 
up accounts and go to the bottom report and look at the most down accounts and say, why, 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 you know, do the root cause analysis. Surprisingly, most sales reps and branch managers, understandably, don't specifically know because we're all day, all year long looking at financial aggregate numbers that all average out these big up and down stories. We don't realize the up and down stories are going on. <clears throat> if we realized they were going on and we were 555 focused, then what we would find out is at the end of the year, we'd have lot more, lots more customers that had Delta PBITs going way up as opposed to down because our competition is unfocused. And in a sense, we're winning the market share game or the share of customer slash market share game because we're not screwing up as often as the competition is. And so the competition unknowingly is driving more good volume to us than we're driving to them. So just like football teams in the NFL uh, who don't throw fumble interceptions or have fumbles but recover them and make them, uh, they win games. So uh, that's a key report. Another one is the year-over-year -year supplier Delta PBIT report. And really one of the reasons it's so important is if you actually said – which supplier is up the most and what w and what was the cause and you think of all the marketing sales promotion programs you've done for the last year that were supplier centric and realize that they have negligible to even negative uh, effect on the delta p report go look at the most profitable suppliers look at the items that are up the most and then you can look at the customers and realize that those suppliers and those items are up because of a customer centric win or a loss that's the difference with suppliers so we still want to work with our suppliers, but we have to do it through together through a lens of customer centric. How are suppliers helping us do better jobs with the five by five report? So those are examples of tracking reports. You'll see more screenshots in later clips. Thank you.